Introducing the MaxTac motorized fixation device with 30 absorbable tacks, the first powered fixation device on the market. This in-service video will provide you with information on this device as well as steps for its proper use. Always refer to the IFU for complete instructions. First, let's look at the packaging. The MaxTac device is indicated for use in fixation of prosthetic material to soft tissue in minimally invasive ventral and minimally invasive groin hernia repair procedures. The device is intended for single use only and it is packaged sterile. The device contains 30 absorbable PGLA tacks preloaded into a standard shaft. The first 25 tacks are violet and the last 5 tacks are green as an indicator of low tack count. These are the key components, button, and features that make up the MaxTac device. Let's take a look at each of them in more detail. The distal end of the shaft has a grip feature that may be used to help facilitate positioning of the mesh. The device's shaft may be inserted through a 5mm cannula or through a larger cannula with the use of a converter. LED lights on the handle indicate device status. A powered push-button trigger deploys tacks during procedures. An inline handle differentiates the MaxTac device from traditional pistol grip designs. The battery door houses two 9-volt alkaline batteries. A yellow activation tab prevents the batteries from powering the device until it is ready for use. 30 absorbable PGLA tacks come preloaded with the MaxTac device. Now, let's see how the MaxTac device is used. Remove the yellow activation tab from the handle. Ensure the LED indicator light on the top of the handle illuminates with a solid green light and the device emits a tone to indicate the device is ready to use. Grip the handle of the device and press the distal end of the shaft against the mesh at the location where fixation is desired. Apply moderate external counter pressure to the area immediately opposite the distal end of the shaft when firing tacks. The application of counter pressure ensures proper tack fixation. With the distal end of the shaft perpendicular to the area to be fixated, press the trigger button. The LED will turn solid green. Once the tack has been successfully deployed, the LED will be green and an audible beep will confirm that a single tack has been deployed. Release the trigger button. The next tack loads automatically and the device is ready for the deployment of the next tack. Following the deployment of the 25th tack, the tack color changes from violet to green as an indicator of low tack count. Following the deployment of the 30th tack, the LED illuminates solid red and the device emits a tone to indicate the device is no longer functional. The device should be removed and discarded. Remove the battery door to access and remove the batteries for disposal. If additional fixation is required, obtain an additional device. The MaxTac device is equipped with LED lights to indicate device status. Here are the different indicators you may encounter in the course of a hernia repair procedure. A solid green LED indicates success or proper functioning of the device, and it first appears with an audible tone to notify the user when the device is ready for use after the removal of the yellow activation tab. The green indicator also notifies the user that the device is firing a tack. The motor will vibrate throughout deployment, but there is no audio at this time. Lastly, a solid green LED indicates when a tack has successfully been deployed. An audible beep will confirm that a single tack has been deployed. A flashing yellow LED with an audible beeping tone indicates caution. This indicator notifies the user that the device has experienced an error and the user must take action to reduce applied forces so that the device does not break. It also indicates any sort of tack deployment failure regardless of cause. A solid red LED indicates either a non-recoverable fault or shutdown of the device. A non-recoverable fault means that the device is not recoverable and has entered a lockout state. This could be caused by three deployment failures in a row the ingress of fluid or a dead battery. A solid red LED may also indicate the end of normal use. The maximum number of tacks have been deployed and the device has reached its end of life. Contact your Medtronic representative today or visit us at medtronic.com slash maxtac to order the MaxTac device. Powering the future of mesh fixation.